The big story in weather has been the hot, dry weather so far. And in fact, through all of 2023 so far, I know it's only been, you know, a couple of months plus, but uh, West Palm Beach only 1.35 uh, for the year so far. Ford Purist, a little bit over an inch and eight tenths and just under two and three quarter inches for Vero Beach. That leaves us well below normal already. Look at this rainfall deficit for the year so far. Over five inches below where we should be through today's date for West Palm Beach. Over three inches for Fort Pierce and almost two and a half inches below normal in Vero Beach. We're in the dry season. We typically don't get a lot of rain, but when you're drier than the usual dry season, that is not good news at all. A good portion of the state is in a level two on a scale of one to five on the drought monitor. There is level one right there, the yellow, the abnormally dry. That's where we are in uh, West Palm Beach, but uh, for the Treasure Coast back toward the lake, it's level two in the moderate, and there's three, four, and five right there. Uh, we don't want it to get any worse. We could certainly use some rain. There is some rain on the way, but not enough to really make a difference or put a big dent in the drought. So uh, we're going to have to continue to monitor this very, very carefully. Be careful with any kind of stray sparks or outdoor burning. The fire danger is uh, elevated again today. Not as windy today as it was yesterday, but it's still very dry out there and you're going to have to keep the garden hoses handy as well. Uh, 91 for the high in West Palm today. 90 at Fort Pierce, 90 in uh, Port St. Lucie, around 91 in Okeechobee. We're going to take a run at record highs today. Vero Beach, the record is 90. The record for Fort Pierce is 90. And the record high for West Palm Beach is 92. We're all going to be within range of that. There is a little sliver of rain around Tallahassee and out toward Jacksonville. That's in advance of a cold front. That cold front is attached to a low pressure that's spreading some pretty crummy weather across the northeast. Combination of snow, rain and freezing rain up that way. And uh, that front extends all the way down to the Florida Panhandle. Ahead of it, a few light sprinkles. Hopefully we'll get some because over the next seven days, the American forecast model says only about three tenths of an inch of rain is in store for the next five to seven days. And the European model is even drier with rainfall totals coming in under a tenth of an inch. So really not a uh, big rainmaker in sight over the next seven days. A bit on the breezy side for the beach goers and watch out for the high risk of rip currents. Only swim at guarded beaches. Treasure Coast 90, Palm Beach is 91 today. Hot and breezy out there for the boaters. A small craft caution going to be a bit bumpy out there. Make sure everybody on board has a life jacket. So the hottest weather is today 91. Then that front comes in tomorrow. We get a bit of a break 85. A few scattered showers, a few spotty showers Monday and Tuesday as well. But again, not enough to make a real big difference. And we're going to stay warm into the 80s through much of next week.